Welcome to the webinar on the Units of Production Method of Depreciation. I'm going to show you how to compute the Units of Production Method. This is also called the Activity Method or the Units of Use Method. I'm going to give you a couple of practice problems to be sure that you're on target. Then we're going to move to the last two in this series, which is how to record disposals and how to handle changes in estimates. So for units of production, we have a completely different assumption. Time is not important. How long you've had it is not important. I'm going to show you how to calculate the units of production method, and we'll go through some practice. So if the number of years that you own the asset or using the asset is not important, then what is important? The activity is important. Activity? Yes. The useful life will be defined as some kind of activity. Number of gallons of oil pump if you have an oil reserve. How many units this piece of equipment is expected to be able to produce over its life or how many machine hours it's expected to be able to work before it is no longer useful. For a vehicle, the number of miles driven may be a way to indicate its useful life as opposed to years. So your depreciation expense in any one year is going to vary depending on how much of the activity was consumed in that year compared to the total activity in the life of the asset. So the calculation is cost minus salvage times this year's activity divided by the expected useful life in activity. So for this asset, the cost was 32000 salvage is 4000 and we expect this piece of equipment, whatever we bought, to last for 56,000 machine hours. After that, we don't expect it to be useful anymore, and we'll be selling it for that salvage. In the first two years, we used 13,000 machine hours and then 6,000 machine hours, and we don't know any more because we would have to wait until the third year occurred before we could do the depreciation. Unlike straight line and double declining balance in some of the year's digits where we can plan out the full life of depreciation when we buy it, this particular method we must wait and see how much activity is used in each year before we can calculate the depreciation expense. So let's do it for this equipment. 